Hey guys, let's talk some skincare. So I have really been focusing more on skincare in my sort of like trying out new products world because right now at the salon, I am wearing a mask for, you know, 10, 12 hours a day and it covers literally like this much of my face. So I've really just been doing eye makeup, maybe a little concealer and that's it. So I haven't really been playing a lot with makeup as much as that really hurts me. Actually today is one of the few days that I've actually done a full face. I just did reviewing my two BoxyCharm boxes. That'll be coming really soon to you guys. So you'll be able to check that one out. But I just haven't been doing a lot of makeup, so I've really been interested in skincare, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a haul of some of the products that I'm excited about. And I'm also gonna tack on a review roundup of a few of the skincare products that I've been trying, just to give you a heads up on some things that I've talked about in the past. So, the number one thing that I wanna talk about in this video is the Inky List. And this is a brand that was completely new to me, and I found it because of a wonderful channel here on YouTube, and that's Mad About Skin. So if you guys haven't checked out Rob's channel, it's amazing. He's really great at simplifying skincare and just giving you great content quickly and like with no frills. I have really been enjoying the Mad About Skin channel, so I will go ahead and leave that channel in the description bar down below for you to check out. But Rob was talking a little bit about some of the Inky List products that he was enjoying and recommending, and so when Sephora had their VIB sale, I went ahead and snagged a few of them. So you can get it through Sephora. This is where I got it. And a couple of these are things that he recommended and a couple of them are things that I just thought sounded really interesting. Now I haven't tried any of these, so I just am really truly doing a haul for you guys, but I wanted to sort of bring these up and we can maybe try them together over the next month. So the first product that I'm really excited about is the Oat Cleansing Balm. So this is a cleanser and I love how they really like break down and simplify your skincare. This reminds me a little bit of The Ordinary in the way that, you know, everything is really simplified. It, you know, shows if it's in the clean, hydrate, treat, moisturize, or SPF category. And this has day and night, so you can use it AM and PM. And you can also leave this on for 10 minutes as a nourishing face mask. So I'm gonna really be interested to try this as a regular cleanser, but also as a cleansing balm, like if I have a lot of waterproof eye makeup on or something like that. So this has some really great ingredients. The first ingredient is sweet almond oil. That right there shows me that this is gonna be really great. It says 3% oat oil helps maintain skin moisture levels, smooths and reduces blackheads. And then 1% Oat powder helps reduce redness and irritation. So if you have sensitive skin, this sounds like it's gonna be great for you. I just recently ran out of my Luna oil from Sunday Rally, which is the retinol oil that I use a lot. And one thing that I really like about this brand is that they really give you the percentages of active ingredients. That's one thing that I found as I was researching that I couldn't really find. Um, like the Luna oil, it doesn't really tell you what percentage of retinol there is in it. It just tells you that you have retinoids and then you have the blue tansy oil, which that's great, but I'd love to know what percentage I'm using. So this has a stabilized retinol compound that is 1%, they call it Retistar, um, and then it's 0.5% gran active retinoid without irritation and squalane to help hydrate and protect skin, and I love squalane. So of course retinol helps reverse the signs of photo aging. It really helps make you have um, a much better skin texture can, you know, sort of reduce those fine lines. And I love it because I've really found that it does help even my skin tone. He said the consistency is awesome, so I'm super excited to try this. The great thing, if this really works well, is you get a full ounce for only $9.99. Now, in comparison, the Sunday Riley Luna Oil, which I don't even know what the percentage of retinol is in that, is 1.18 ounces for $105. So. If this little baby saves my skin, I'm gonna be saving a lot of money. So I will definitely update you. I wonder how many times I can like do this in a video, sorry. Now I got two other products and I can't remember if he had recommended these or not, but I also got the Collagen Booster. So this is something I don't necessarily have in my current skincare wardrobe. I do have the uh, Elemis Collagen Rose Oil, but I have a feeling that that's not as potent as this might be. So this says it has Metroxyl 3000 to help boost collagen production, and Syntax, a dual peptide that helps provide collagen boosting benefits. So the combo of collagen and peptides is really crucial to get the maximum benefits. So it says that this helps firm sagging skin, reduce fine lines, and reduce wrinkles. 
yes please, yes please, yes please. So this collagen booster is only $10.99, so I figured it would be a fun addition to give a try in my routine. The one thing is it's pretty liquidy, so I will be curious to see how that applies. Um, but other than that, I'm excited to try it out. By the way, I don't think I talked about the price of that oat cleansing balm, and that is $9.99 as well. So one last item from the Inky list, and it's break in the bank at $12.99. <laughs> so this is the most expensive item I got, but I think $12.99 is still pretty respectable. So this is the Turmeric Brightening Moisturizer, and you do get another full ounce of this. We know that turmeric is an anti-inflammatory and soothing ingredient, and I was just really interested to try this. So. Inky says that it's ideal for all skin types. It has 1% vitamin E to help soothe and smooth the skin, and it has squalane to help hydrate and protect the skin. It says that it's gonna help rehydrate dry skin, brighten the skin, and reduce the appearance of wrinkles. Again, very excited about all of those opportunities. So let me know, have you guys tried the Inky list? Is it something that you're wanting to check out? Um, if you're curious, I will definitely give you guys an update. I'd like to use all of these for about a month just so that I can really get a little bit of an idea. So. Let's go into a few of the products that I have tried. Now, like I said, I really wanted to do some of these like review roundups of products that I've maybe mentioned in the past, or even just some products that I've been using that I've liked and just some really quick little updates. So the first one, I talked about these in my last review roundup, and that's the Core Organics Noni Night Serum and the Noni Glow. Now, I got these from Influencer as part of their campaign to try out, so I was given them complimentary, but of course I'm gonna tell you guys my true thoughts, and I think that'll prove true when I let you know that this really wasn't my favorite. Now, while this wasn't bad by any means, it certainly just didn't top my favorite. And of course, you guys should know at this point, if you've watched my channel for very long, that I love the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. Now, one of the things is this really doesn't say, again, what percentage the active ingredients are. All this really says is that it has uh, noni fruit extract, willow bark extract, lemon peel ferment, Sicilian white grapes, and caviar lime. So it's an AHA exfoliating serum, and that's really all it says. And this comes in at $72 for an ounce. So fairly pricey. So the Pharmacy Glow, which I didn't bring up here, but you guys have seen it before in my videos, uh, that's formulated with a 14% AHA, BHA, and gentle flower acid combo. And that one is only $58 for a full ounce. So I will certainly use this guy up. The one thing that I found though is that, and I don't know what it is, but this stings a little bit more than the Pharmacy Glow, which that doesn't concern me. It is acid that I'm putting on my face, but I just found it to be a little less comfortable and the smell um, I don't love, which I guess Noni fruit is sort of known to not have a pleasant smell. Now, this Noni Glow face oil was nice, but I didn't really notice anything from it that like made me ooh and ah over it. I really enjoy using squalane oil, rosehip oil, and those things are definitely um, at less of a cost than this oil. So I will definitely use these up and appreciate them, but I just find that they didn't beat out anything that's already in my current skincare routine, and I probably won't purchase them in the future. All right, let's add a little bit of positivity into this review. So these are the Peter Thomas Roth Max Complexion Correction Pads. And I've had these and used them on and off for a long time, but. These have been crucial to my skincare right now because again, as I was saying, I've been wearing a mask all day every day and I find that I'm getting little breakouts here on my chin, which I never get, and then some along my face and right along the crease of my nose. And I just have to assume, as gross as it sounds, that like just breathing that bacteria gets trapped inside your mask and it just like isn't good for your skin because I've talked to a lot of other hairdressers that I know that are doing the same thing and they're breaking out as well. So. I pulled these out and wanted to give these a try. And the nice thing about these is they are a 2% salicylic acid and 10% glycolic acid. So they're for normal oily or problematic skin types. And I do find that if I am like kind of going through a breakout phase, um, using these every day for a while really helps get me through that. Now, right now I've been just consistently using it like every other day just to sort of keep on top of any breakouts. and. Well, you know, breakouts aren't the biggest thing at the end of the day. I really scar and the pigmentation lasts a really long time for me. So that's really why I try to avoid that is just 
not having to go through, honestly, four, six weeks or more of trying to get rid of that pigmentation. So these have been wonderful. Um, I think I have also gotten like bigger packs of them. I don't know if those are like limited edition, but these are great. I've gotten them at Ulta in the past. I just realized talking about those pads that there was one more product in my haul that I didn't share with you guys, and that's these Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. So I got these in my BoxyCharm last month, and this was my choice item. So in the box, you get to choose one of your items, and I think you have like four or five options, and this is what I chose. So I'm really excited to try these. What it says is that there's a tri-enzyme technology shown to smooth skin and increase cell turnover, and there's probiotic ferment complex. So Elemis is saying that this is good to shed dense skin cells, resulting in more radiant, revitalized, and brighter skin. And it also has lactic acid, which is a mild AHA. Now, I'm really excited to try those as like a light exfoliant and brightener, but I don't think it's going to replace these for me because I really find that salicylic acid is what helps reduce my breakouts and especially like the inflammation of my breakouts. So these will be what I use for sort of like skin correction, and this will be for like luminizing my skin. Luminizing my skin? Is that a word? We're just gonna go with that. So I just realized that I had to talk about this guy as well. Okay, speaking of luminizing the skin, I want to talk about this Pharmacy Bright On Vitamin C Mask. I think this was another BoxyCharm item. I've really been enjoying some of the skincare I've been getting in BoxyCharm. It's a fun way to try some things that you maybe wouldn't try. So this is definitely one that I had seen Pharmacy launch. You guys know I've really enjoyed most of the Pharmacy products, but this really wasn't one that really sort of caught my eye because it does say that it is a clay mask and I don't really go for clay masks very often. However, I found that this was a very comfortable form of a clay mask. So pharmacy says that it's a vitamin C clay mask that instantly brightens and helps detox skin by removing buildup and impurities to visibly improve the appearance of skin texture and tone. You apply it and then you massage it in and it sort of changes color. It's a very faint color change. Um, but then you leave it on for five to 10 minutes. Now I will say the first time I put this mask on, I got into an involved conversation with our roommate and was like chilling with it on for at least 15, 20 minutes. And I was like, oh my gosh, is this mask totally gonna like wreck my skin? And it was fine. I did find that I just felt a little bit more luminous and bright. So I've really been enjoying this one. If you get an opportunity, I would recommend getting a sample and checking it out for yourself. So thanks for sticking around with me. I just wanted to share with you some of the things that I picked up and I'm looking forward to trying this month. And I also just wanted to give you a little heads up on some of the items that I have tried. Let me know if you find these review roundups helpful. I'd like to keep doing them, just these quick little informative videos if you are liking them. I'm so excited to try the inky list products that I got. Thanks again to Rob over at Mad About Skin. Don't forget to check out that channel. Thanks again for watching. If you are new, please consider subscribing and hit the notification notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you really soon.